Welcome to Big Pool Discipleship 101, The Bible in a Year, Week 8, Numbers 18 to 34. From the priests to Israel's borders. In Numbers 18, how were the priests and Levites separated? Do we have similar separation of duties in the church? What makes something holy? Why did the Levites have no land inheritance? What was their inheritance? To whom was the tithe of the tithe given? How can this relate to paying bishops? In Numbers 19, how do washing ceremonies relate to today's pastors? How could sacrifice ashes and water relate to Jesus and baptism? In Numbers 20, how did Moses disobey God? Why did God still bring forth water? Is this a lesson for church leaders today? How did God punish Moses? In Numbers 21, how does the bronze snake relate to modern medicine? To whom did Israel give credit for winning their battles? In Numbers 22, how was Balaam disobedient to God? What was the story of the donkey? Does God have a sense of humor? In Numbers 23, what was Balaam's first message? What was his second message? In Numbers 24, what was his third message? What were his fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh messages? How long do we ask God before we realize something is against his will? In Numbers 25, how did Moab seduce Israel? How does this relate to destruction of our nation today? In Numbers 26, how is the definition of family different than ours today? Do you notice how some smaller tribes have grown larger than some once larger tribes? How was the land apportioned among them? Did you notice how the original complainers had all died out? In Numbers 27, how was justice given to the daughters of Zelophehad? When are exceptions good? How was Moses' successor chosen? What does this say for democracy? In Numbers 28, what were the daily offerings? Why were there more offerings on the day of rest? What were the new moon offerings? What does the Passover relate to in Christian worship? What does it remember? Why is Pentecost here referred to as the Feast of Weeks? What does Christian Pentecost celebrate? In Numbers 29, what date is the Feast of Trumpets? What future event is celebrated with trumpets? What date is atonement? Who is our atonement? What were the dates of the Feast of Tabernacles? What two days were special assemblies? In Numbers 30, how important does God take vows, many of which involved pledges to make offerings? In Numbers 31, why did God command war? See chapter 25. How did Balaam figure into it? Why did he sabotage Israel with prostitution and idolatry? Why did they adopt little girls but not the boys? Could the boys have presented a future threat of insurgency? In Numbers 32, what duty did the two and a half tribes have to perform before inheritance? Does this relate to our Christian duty before receiving our eternal inheritance? In Numbers 33, how do Israel's many wanderings relate to our life's journey? How does Israel's driving out the Canaanites relate to our driving out sin? In Numbers 34, how do Israel's borders relate to her borders today? How were the details of tribal allotments decided? Why did God give Israel a semi-arid land instead of a green land? Well, that's it for this week. God bless you.